Actually, there is no any. I mean, in in our city, there is no any job such jobs where we can get earn good. In I mean, enough money to you know. I understand that. That that. You, have you heard of like freelancing? Do you know what freelancing is? So you learn a mm. skill like web development or photo editing, and you go onto these websites. So imagine, imagine you're a huge company and you have millions of pounds or dollars, right? And you need someone to do a simple like you need someone to build a web page really fast for you. You're not gonna spend your time doing it yourself because you have more important things to do so you're gonna pay some random person online 50 to you, i don't know say they're charging 200 dollars they're gonna then pay you 200 dollars for about 20 minutes work because they have they have the money and they don't want to spend their time doing something so they're gonna pay you a lot of money f for a little amount of your time you can't all you need is a computer like, do you want me to provide you some websites you can look into to, like, freelance to make some money so you don't have to scam people? I'll check that, too. So, the first one is Fiverr. So, that's F-I-V-E-R-R dot com. And on this site, there are a lot of people. So, you, uh -huh. I'm, I'm assuming you're Russia. Indian. Right. I'm assuming you speak Hindi. Yes. So there's yes, a skill right there. You speak Hindi and English. Now, there, I'm sure there are people out there who have text in English that needs to be translated to Hindi or from Hindi to English. And these people, they don't pay you for the amount of time you, you spend. They pay you per word. So if they have a 10,000 word document, they need translation. That can, that can co like cost them anywhere from 100 to to $1,000. And that's a hundred to a thousand dollars you've made legitimately. Imagine making a legit income for once instead of... So w w the money you're making from scamming right now, how are you going to spend it? Because that's dirty money. If you go to buy a house with that money, or you buy anything like a car, house, anything big, the, the, uh, the, the, the Indian police are going to be wondering where the fuck that money came from because you don't have a job. And all of a sudden you're buying a car or a house. They're going to wonder where you got that money. You're not going to get caught scamming people. You're going to get caught when you try to spend the money you've earned by scamming people. So you need to like figure out what you're going to do because you're going to... There's two ways this is going to end up for you. You're going to get caught by the police and you're going to go to prison. Or you're going to finish... You're not going to... You're going to finish scamming and you're going to have nothing. You're not going to have anything. So if you go to get another job right now... And they ask, what have you been doing for the last two to three years? What are you going to say? You're not going to say I've been scamming people online, are you? You're not going to say that. And if, if you say I've been working for a company, mm -hmm. they're going to want to know that company. And then they're going to contact that company to get a, re a reference from you. So if you do try to get a legitimate job, there is no way you're going to be able to justify the amount of years you spent scamming people to the company. Just think about it from that perspective there. What you're like, it may be a get rich quick scheme, but is that what you really want to do for the rest of your life? No. So, like, you should look into freelancing. Find websites. So, there's the one I gave you, mm. Fiverr. If you just Google freelancing, you'll find mm. a load of websites. Sign up to it. When you get home tonight, go on your computer. Don't do it on your work computer because you don't know what malware's on that computer. Like, simple as, you want to do it on your own personal computer. And then you set up a business. And so, when you get a person coming to you from a company to get you to do a job, they're not just going to come once. They're going to keep coming back to you. So, if you translate a company's English document into Hindi or Hindi to English, they might have another document they want you to translate. And then a couple of days later, they'll have another document and then another one. And it will just keep going on and on and on. And you'll get a lot of clients. And then these clients will keep sending you work. So, at the start, you won't have any clients and you won't be making anything. But then you slowly build up your reputation. And then these clients see you as a reputable person. And then they continue to send you work and send you money for doing a legitimate job. Okay, so, so I do that. I, I do hope you look into it, man, because 
honestly, I do feel sorry for you. I'm looking into that right now. <clears throat> I do feel sorry for you because I I'm can't imagine what position you're in to like have to turn to scamming to make money. I I feel horrible for you, but I do hope you actually look into it. But I wish mm. you all the best for the future in your life, mate. And I hope everything works out for Thank you. you but you do need to mm. realize if you do continue going down the road of scamming, there's only two ways it's going to end up. And that's going to be in a prison cell or you're, you're going to be dead. Mm. You're not going to get out of it clean. There's no way. Because you can, you can stop scamming right. today, but you're not going to be able to spend the money you've earned. Because that's where you're going to get caught by spending the money. So mm. I wish you all the best in the future, mate. Good luck, and I hope you, I ho note down this number. And if you if you need any advice, call this number, and I will pick up. And I can talk to you and give you some help. So I'm here if you want me. Just right. call me back. All right. Have a good day, mate. And Thank I wish you all the best. You too, sir. Bye. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good day. So whenever I scam bait, I always look out for the opportunity to preach to a scammer to show them legit ways they can make money. This has a bigger impact on scam baiting and ending scammers because it then makes the scammers realize they don't have to scam to make money and they don't need to get a real job to make money. They can make money online and this stops a lot of victims falling to, for this scam as this scammer may. I don't know if he will, but he might stop scamming because of what I said today. And that has a huge impact, not only on the scammer's life, but on all the people he might have scammed within the future, which I have prevented. So I do feel if you have the opportunity to preach to a scammer and to show them how they can make money, you need to do that because that will end scamming, not end scamming, but it will turn someone's life around. It can change someone's life. So I do hope everyone who scam baits, when they get the opportunity to, because it's not always possible, and I understand this, but you need to start preaching to these scammers and showing them how they can make legit money, because we're not going to stop scammers by just calling them and wasting their time. That's just going to continue to make them want to scam people. If we can show them ways to make money, like this scammer said, there aren't any jobs, so he needs to make money. Everyone needs to make money in life, and the only way he can do that is through scamming, or that's the only way he feels he can make money at this current moment in time. And this is the story for a lot of people in India. That's why there are a lot of scammers from India. And that's why India has the biggest reputation for scams. So if you have the opportunity to talk to a scammer personally, like I just did here, where they actually listen and won't hang up the phone, because they are actually interested in what you have to say. And if they are interested in what you have to say, that is the best opportunity you have to turn someone's life around. Because... You can stop people from scamming just by giving them the resources and talking to them like a proper human being and not talking to them as if they're a criminal but actually having that discussion with a scammer and trying to prevent them from scamming in the future by changing their lifestyle and giving them those resources so i do feel this is a very important part of scam baiting which a lot of youtubers do not do they don't try to turn scammers last around they just try and expose them and i do understand that's not always possible and i expose scammers a lot to stop people falling victim but when i do get the chance i always make sure i try to turn the scammers life around themselves because that is the most important thing we need to do as a community is to stop people falling victim to these scams by targeting the scammers and helping them build a better life for themselves so as i said i gave this guy the, my personal number well my voip number which anyone can call but i told him he can call it anytime he wants and if he does call i will pick up and will speak to him so i do hope you have enjoyed this video and i do hope you guys take this message seriously because this is how we can end scamming so i do hope you have enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one i had i had i i love my job I hate a other job. I have only one job.